find my way to heaven. When I woke, I slid that on a necklace. I told God I'll be back in a second. Angel boy, don't say that. Never gonna stand a chance. Heartbreak like a sad romance. Said that you never come back again. Been three days, now you're back again. But I'm not your man. No, I'm not your man. I can blow your mind like whoa. Why be fake? <laughs> Mama needs her go go juice before we get started. That's the stuff. Who's next? Y'all get into it. There is a fine line between energy and anxiety when you're drinking coffee and I feel like I am teetering on the edge right now, but I'm still gonna drink it. I love being toxic. Okay, I think I'll concentrate now. Let's go. What is up you guys? It is Leanne and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. If you are a makeup artist, just keep scrolling. I have never done a tutorial before, so please excuse this roller coaster of a video you're about to experience. You're in for a show. I can guarantee you that. Yeah, I'm just gonna be doing a makeup routine slash get ready with me type of deal. So this is really exciting. The look we're trying to achieve is when boys say, wow. you know, can you achieve that Kim Kardashian look where she just looks like really natural, but like in reality you're wearing like quite quite some makeup but like not too much almost kind of in between that it's like who's gonna tell them not me not, not me. me wrong the girls have got me though am i right ladies but yeah i'm not a beauty guru by any means so please do not drag me if you have any suggestions i would love to hear them down below of any makeup products that you love i'm also gonna link down below all the products that i use in this video today i'm just gonna stop talking because i just keep rambling and let's just get to it bear with me Okay, so pretty much first, I have washed my face already this morning. I did my full skincare routine. If there's anything I have to say, it's that in order for your makeup to look flawless, you need a good skincare routine. So I'm actually gonna link my skincare routine that I just did somewhere around here, mainly because I would always complain that like my makeup would get like really oily or like flake off really easily. And that was because I wasn't taking good care of my skin. So once I started doing my skincare routine in quarantine, that's when I started noticing that my makeup actually went on pretty pretty easy just think you're like bob ross and like you gotta start with a fresh blank canvas and you know this is what it looks like right now we are bare face i put on some lashes already because i didn't want you to wait like 10 light years for me to put them on i'm still working on becoming an abg this is my last step is putting on my lashes in five seconds but we're not there yet my god i'm out breath already i haven't talked to anyone for this much in this short amount of time in the past like six months because of quarantine <laughs> sips tea all right that coffee really got to me real quick first we're gonna start with a hyaluronic serum this is just to prep your face i have really like extreme combo skin so when i put on makeup my makeup tends to like lake around here so with this mm -mm, no crusty no more this is not the crusty crab anymore so we're just gonna drop a few oh my god it's gonna go in my eyeball sos and then we're just gonna let this sit for like two minutes. Cool. Hold on, something's now we're gonna go in with a primer. I actually switched between two different primers. This is the Good Molecules Moisturizing Primer. I'm not gonna use this one right now because I just put on the serum. So this is another good one. This is the Bobbi Brown Primer Mattifier. Girl. Let me tell you, this essentially, I have really large pores in my T-zone, so these kind of fill in those gaps and make everything super matte. A lot of the times if I'm rushing, I will just put this on and dust like a face powder over and it looks completely fine. It's kind of more on the pricey side, I will say, but this has lasted me at least three years and I know you want to come for me and say that makeup does expire, which I know, but it still is fine. You're just gonna get a teeny tiny amount and then I just kind of rub it in between my fingers and then just pretty much dab it all over my life. 
okay. So as you can see, it did a pretty good job. Actually, this natural lighting makes my confidence diminish tremendously. <laughs> We're just gonna keep rolling with it. We have primed the Bob Ross canvas. I'm doing a lot of like multiple options that you can do mainly because no makeup is the same for like every occasion. So this I would normally use if I was just running errands for the day or going to the beach. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross SPF 40 Instant Radiant Sun Defense. It comes in two different shades so you can pretty much just throw this on and throw a face powder on. I use it as a foundation, you know, can't forget that SPF girl. But if I'm not doing those things and I'm going out at night or doing something more like intensive where I don't want anything to move on my face including my emotions I would use this Dior backstage foundation this also works as like a body foundation so it's great for whatever you need to cover up I love the applicator because usually I'll use a foundation that just spills all over my life go in with our booty blender I think we're good. We like it. She looking smooth today. Next up, contour girlfriend. We are gonna shape shift right now. I use this Benefit Hula contour stick. It's super easy. Cream contour, you just kinda, it's very precise. And then you're just kinda blend it out. The cheekbones, and then just shape our jawline. And then we're gonna do the nose thing. Oh God, what if I just left it like this? Ayo, chav tack. And then we're gonna blend aggressively. Be aggressive, be, be aggressive. Next, we're gonna do the nose. Okay, ignore the fact that the end of this brush broke. And just kind of blend it out so it's not a super harsh line, but it's like enough to be like, dude, she has a nose. And it doesn't just look like this squishy blob thing. Insert picture here. Now that we are done with that, we're gonna get rid of these bags because they're not Gucci. I learned on TikTok that you're supposed to do this part of your eye to lift the eye and give like that woke effect. Stay woke, my friends. I just blend my under eye concealer out with my finger. Wow, she looks awake. It is the morning. She has drank in her full cup of coffee. Here she is. And then we're gonna do a little bit of blush. This is actually called cheek slime so this is a lip and cheek tint it's a liquid so it's super blendable and you can really get into places i tend to do it across my nose too if i want to get like that e-girl vibe this is for more pigmented look and then i also like this milk makeup it's like a contour stick almost but for blush and this is a little less pigmented just kind of give you like a sun kiss look and i'm just gonna put the blush up here because this way it makes you look more youthful rather than putting it like down here and then i'm just gonna kind of go across my nose like wow she definitely lives in socal kind of vibe you know this has changed my life this is the cover fx custom enhancer drops i think you can put this in your foundation actually to give you like an overall like glowy look but for the most part i just use them straight on for my highlight <gasps> so beautiful a little droplet this bottle goes such a long way oh my god my dog's fur is on it use the bottom of my beauty blender and i will just dab it in because we want to shine bright like a diamond am i right ladies <laughs> This is very important if you want to get that overall like matte look. The highlighter will still come through, trust me. This is the Lancome Dual Finish Matte Face Powder. Kind of just dusted everywhere. Just consider it like fairy dust, you know? That's the stuff. We're gonna go in with the infamous Laura Mercier Powder. <laughs> I don't know, they call it like baking. Honestly, I don't know the significance of it, but it looks good. So we're gonna do it under the eye. And we're just gonna let it sit and bake. I look crazy. Next up, we gotta get our brows on fleek, my guys, with the Benefit Cabrow Gel. This has been my end-all be-all product for brows. I don't really use any other brands for brow products. I trust them with my life. Can we just talk about how in sixth grade, everybody wanted to make thin brows a trend. So I plucked the absolute 
out of my brows. They became so thin and I was like, oh, it's in. And now bushy brows are it. And I was like, can someone make up their mind? And now my eyebrow hairs will not grow back. We're stuck with these little thin caterpillars. Cries. Now that we're done with baking, we're just gonna blend it in. We're getting somewhere, people. We're getting there. And for another TikTok hack, this is the got to be invincible styling gel. This is hair gel. But I learned that if you want to get that like soap brow look where your eyebrows are like furry and what are they called? Like furrowed? Yes, furrowed. I have been using this to brush up my brows and it has been working like absolute magic. Trust me on this. So you really just need just a little, little dab. I don't like pasting them completely to my face, but I do like making them stand up a little bit, stand up for themselves to the brow bullies. A little close up so you guys can see. You can see. To even shape our face even more, we're gonna go in with this Bare Minerals powder contour. Go over the spots that we had before. So you're gonna make like a three shape essentially. So you're gonna start up here, come down, and then do the jawline. Oops. Right foot, less thumb. Left foot, less thumb. Cha cha, real smooth. <laughs> For eyeshadow time, I literally have never learned to do like the cut crease smoky eye look. I am using this, you guys can see yourself, hello, Ciate London eyeshadow palette. I am a huge fan of pinky tones for my eyes or like orangey. So I'm gonna go in with this like corner. Wow, I look like a booty guru right now. Look at me guys, are you proud of me? Oh f that was a lot. Thanks. Brush it up here, brush it up there. Am I pretty yet? Another fun eyeshadow thing that I do. A lot of people like to do like inner corner highlight. I am all for it. This is actually a eyeshadow bento from Kaja. It comes with three different shades. Look how cool this is. One, two, three. Oh, she's sparkly. She real sparkly. And then if you're feeling adventurous, you can definitely swipe this over the top of your lids as well. Now for the fun stuff. I do not like needles, surprisingly, after like three tattoos and 13 piercings. I have like a small upper lip, so when I smile, it disappears. I'm gonna be using this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Plumper Gloss because I'm too scared to get lip injections. It smells like strawberries. It feels like fire. It makes it like more pinky because it's probably burning something on it. <laughs> While we're waiting for this to dry, we're gonna go on with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is like the holy grail. This is gonna look very awkward. Just a couple pumps. We're just gonna do the last couple steps of the routine. Bringing back the sixth grade vibes, we're gonna go in with just this white water liner. I usually just apply it on the bottom water line to make my eyes pop more. Let's just pray I don't stab myself right now. We're good, we're doing good. We're gonna do the top water line. I use this Urban Decay 24 hour gel liner. We stand. If you have a cute eyeliner face, I am jealous of you. I literally look like the character from Beetlejuice where his eyeball is literally popping out of his head. Oh, I'm tired. We are almost done with this train wreck. I'm just kidding. Now, for the last step, we're gonna do our mascara. I've gone through plenty of mascaras. I went through a phase of really liking the L'Oreal Lash Paradise one. That one I still love, but this is like the new one that I'm obsessed with. This one really like makes each individual lash like super long instead of making it like super clumpy. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Let me just tell you, you don't need a telescope to see how long these lashes are. Okay, so right now I have like little individual lash extensions on, but we're gonna make them pop. Say goodbye to the stubby lashes. Can we just look at the difference? Like it just like lifts. And then we're just gonna do the other eye. Bring everything together. 
that natural summer glow. Once you get this makeup routine down, I'd say it takes about like 10 minutes, which isn't that long. It's perfect for whatever the occasion is. I'm gonna leave all the product links down below. This video is not sponsored. I just really love these products and I use these on an everyday basis and I think you guys will too. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I pretty much reply to like all my comments. Yeah, if you just wanna say hi, say hi too. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, love you guys. Okay, bye. We're gonna catfish everybody. Hold on, there's a plane crossing. Why is it not focusing? Oh my god, I'm gonna be so mad if it wasn't focused the whole entire video.